Hey guys and welcome to the fourth episode of Slossip. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make a spoon catapult. Okay, first of all, you will need four household pegs, two bulldog clips, 12 pop sticks, some scotch tape, and a spoon. Okay guys, so first of all you're going to need your 12 pop sticks and your scotch tape. You just want to band them up into groups of three and tape it at the top here and at the bottom here. So you should have four groups of three pop sticks each looking something a lot like this. So maybe different colours. You can pick. Next you want to get one of your pop stick groups and you want to get two of your household pegs. Then you just want to peg it across there and across there. Next you want to grab two rubber bands and with one it might sometimes I like to have just one on at a time but depends and you really just want to wrap it around randomly so that it hopefully strengthens it up and it makes it a lot less wobbly. This may be tricky at first but yeah you're gonna have to do quite a few of these all banded on so it should be quite simple after a while. So yeah then that's strengthened on then you want to get your second one, which I pulled off, but you don't necessarily have to do. Um, and then, yeah, just do the same. Band it around like you've done on that one. Next, you want to get your, well, U-shaped bracket secu secured by rubber bands. And you want to find the ends of them, like that. And you want to wedge in the one with the, another three pop stick, pop stick thing. I'm, I clearly have very good names for things like so. You then want to secure these ends that you've just put on with rubber bands. That is quite tricky but once you've done it then mission accomplished you've created the base. Why is it not stopping? Okay guys next you want to grab two of your pegs and you want to get see those are uh, three slots you want to slot it in the back end so that I'll just get a knife so you can see, because that's thinner, in between these two there. You want to slot that in, like that, so that it ends up like that on each side. This takes a little while to get used to, so I'm just going to quickly do it and skip it. Once you've done securing it on, it should look a lot like this. Put it straight at that one. If you feel the need, you can secure it with a bit of sticky tape. Not necessary, but I recommend it. And, um, yep, yeah, next you're going to get another bundle and you want to clip it on to each end. This might be a little bit tricky because you have to clip it on quite close to the end, see? So you may not see the very ends of the pop stick, which isn't necessarily a problem, but yes. So that's that step. Next you want to grab your catapult that you've made and with the part that's been secured by sticky tape you can then over secure that there with rubber band. Now we're going to move on to the spoon part. You want to grab this and you want to just fold it like that so you can see that. And you want to tape this over like that. You want to tape it across there. Once you've taped it it should look a lot like this with the is the part you eat and the bulky end on that side like that. Next you want to grab your little catapult and remember which way is which because you don't want to get that way and that way mixed up. Once you've figured it out you then just want to go like so and get it and flip it so it's like that and then you want to use that clip and you want to clip it onto there. Smack bang in the middle is best and then you should have something that looks a little like this but that falls back so obviously it's not complete. You want to grab your rubber band and another bulldog clip and just slot it in like that. So you want to make sure it's back like that and Clip it on so it's in line with that. Bring your spoon back up and make sure it's right there. 
and put it behind like that. Now that's a bit lazy, so you may want to go and take it off maybe, and you may want to double it over. That makes it a lot stronger and better. There, so you just do what you did. Ta-da, clip that onto there. And loop it over. There, and that is your catapult. And now I'm going to show you some quick finishing touches. Get these because you won't need these little metal bits. If you squeeze and wheel, they'll come off. So you can just pull all of them off. Some are a bit tricky. Off. And this one off. Okay, this is what it's like to fire. Just quickly show you guys. You might want to either secure this a bit better or hold on to it when you fire. Pull the spoon back. And then you fire. I just fired this and I'll show you how far it goes.